so many businesses and especially agencies treat planning as something that you do in January. You put together your year plan and that's the last time you look at it. What you need to be doing is building it into a very simple system, which is at the end of every month, check where you are relative to your plan and then decide if where you are right now, whether or not you need to adjust your plan for this quarter. Don't worry about the whole year. Don't worry about the two quarters or whatever. Just think about the nine weeks remaining in the quarter. If you've exceeded or missed your goal, do you need to adjust the quarter? Put it in your calendar. Do it on the 30th of every month. Maybe the first couple of days of the next month after your bookkeeper has closed the books on your month. It shouldn't take long. You look at your revenue, your profit, your client growth, your staff growth. Are you ahead? Are you behind? And if you're ahead, great. Can you increase your quarterly goal? Awesome. Are you behind? Do you need to pull back in your quarterly goal? Equally awesome. And do that every month. And then once a quarter, reforecast the whole year. So at the end of the quarter, based on what happened in the first quarter and what you know is in the pipeline, reforecast your whole year instead of doing planning one time. All I'm asking for is one hour a month. Stop scrolling on TikTok for one hour and just look at your sales, your profits, your staff growth, your customer growth, and what's in your pipeline. And then decide if you need to adjust things because it's the plan that determines your actions. And without determining your actions, your plan is meaningless. A good way to think about it is this way. If you don't have a destination, wherever you are is fine, but you don't want to get to the end of the year and look at your plan and think, oh my God, we missed it by 50%. How did that happen? Well, it happened because you didn't invest those 12 hours over the course of a year to see where you were relative to the plan. Because knowing where you are relative to the plan determines the day-to-day -day actions that you take to hit your plan. Making the plan is irrelevant. Tracking the plan is the thing that creates opportunity.